issue. The issue is everybody has their own definition of dating. And you have people out here that'll be talking to five people at one time. That's true. You sending out five good morning beautiful texts to five people. I'm, I'm single. I'm single until I commit. So therefore, as long as I'm single, I can entertain a number of people. But because I'm not in the commitment. So you're a philosopher? Yes. 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 I think very deeply. I think very deeply. I was married for 11 years. Okay. I've been divorced for four. And I don't know what this new age dating is. People don't call each other boyfriend and girlfriend no more. They don't have relationships. Now it's situationships. Or I get to move in and live with you, or I come over and get what I want and go on about. I don't. I don't know what none of that is. But right. they got this new age dating that I don't want to be a part of. Right, right, right. You know, or you got the folks that's leading you on, and then after they lead you on, and you don't give them what they want. Now it's like screw you. It's it's, it's just a bunch of craziness. So the right. question, one of the questions that I have for you, um, is okay. what is the proper way to date? I think dating should be very simple. I think dating should be a very natural process. I don't think it should be um, a system or a code of principle set in place where a person say one, two, three, four, five, and, and mm. a person has these certain out, and, um, outlines that a person has, um, you know, outline or whatever. I think that when, let's say I myself, Mm -hmm. But I myself, the more I work on me, the more I put myself in a certain place and the more I focus on the things that I believe not only fulfills me, make me happy, but what I believe my life purpose is, like the reason for being here, what my overall objective is with the rest of my life. I think the more I align myself with that and do that, mm -hmm. um, I naturally will come into people that are in that path. You know, like in my in my journey, in a sense, like they are already like on that path. And some they might not be doing what I'm doing, but they're kind of like people I'm passing through on mm -hmm. that path, right? And um, hopefully, they would be someone who also have an interest there. Some may not, some may, some may be just there for just to make some money. Maybe some may be there temporarily, and some may be there because they also have a very personal um, investment in that. You know. And I think that as you travel that and you just naturally get to know people, like I, I see you and where I'm at now is that, like I'm saying, I'm just using a general idea. I'm saying where I am at now is that I, I'm, I'm interested in the ideas that, 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 that are in your mind, right? Mm -hmm. And those ideas may, may either that I harmonize with, that it radiates with me, you know, uh, resonates with me, and it, it, it. I think those are the things that will, if if a person connect on those levels, and, and just just to try to help further my, I mean, further the understanding or clarify what I'm saying is that I used to ask women sometimes, like when they, they said they love me, I'd be like, "What you love about me?" Mm. And I try to make it a, a random question. I try to make it a question out, out the blue. What mm -hmm. you love about me, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And most of the time, a person has to sit and think. Mm. Well, and typically, the first thing they'll say mm. is something like, something that I do to them or for them. Mm. Like, I love the way you make me feel. I love how you treat me. I love the way you, 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 you show me this, that, or another. I love it. You know, it's always something that I'm bringing to that personal world. To me, mm. that's not really love of me, though. Uh-huh. Because those things that I do for you may not always be consistent or may, I may not always be able to do it in that sense. So if those are the things that you love about me, then your love might be only temporary and, and very conditional. Right. But when a person can say off the bat, I just love the way you think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love the way you think, right? And then right. Like, what you mean? And they just say, they go in debt and say, well, I, I just love the way you seem to analyze things and you really are very uh, purposeful with the, yeah, right, with that's what I'm right. Yeah. and so yeah. if a person be in life for myself that would really mean something to me right right you know what I'm saying while at the same time yeah I try to be the best I can be I mean mm -hmm. on my personal mm -hmm. I try to be the best I can be all around 
I don't right. want to just be good in one thing or in two things or things that I think is for me. I want to be, I want to try to get a, 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 a whoever, the one that I, I love, I know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of filling in a whole lot of stuff, but the one that I feel like I'm going into that I want, whoever that future is, I want to, I, my desire is to give her everything that she have always thought she wanted and things that she didn't even know that she wanted. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And so I want, and the only way I can do that is me striving to be the best that I can be, though. You know, me being the try, striving solely to be, to better me in all the ways, to try to, you know, heal and understand the traumas I've been through, to try mm -hmm. to utilize those traumas and make my life better, make other people's life better, and so on and so forth, right? And I just believe that if that becomes the norm of what we call dating, then dating wouldn't be so complex and so difficult and so heartfelt. But today, we are very uh, impersonal. Mm -hmm. One, uh, it's people, like, I, I would say, women find it strange for a man to walk up to her and kind of, like, try to get to know her. But 20 what? years ago, that was the process. Where is 20 that years at? ago, a man walk up to a woman and be like, hey, you know, get to talk to her, ask her number, and you know, kind of you later, and it yeah. goes through that, right? Today, that's that's considered strange. No, let me give you my social media. <laughs> you know, so everything is so detached. I think I was born in the wrong era. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything is very detached now, though. And uh, it is. It's yeah. sad. It's sad. Yeah, it's yeah. Sad. it is getting worse you though. They it's don't want to pursue you. They're this whole they... this whole COVID thing gonna make it worse. This will we'll, we'll, make we'll it. Huh? Make it. Yeah, well, I mean, what, but what we going through, what, what this whole COVID, COVID thing is the is the uh, beginning or the invitation to a whole new social dynamic. So my brother said one must define their own goals and purpose in dating. Say it again. My brother said one must define. Can you see the comments? Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I can see. I, I got to scroll through it. Let me see here. No, I don't see anyone saying nothing here. He said That's... one must define their own goals and purpose in dating. I mean, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. But that's what we've been doing. Loving angelic, yes. They that's don't what we've do been... that. But that's why there's such a divide and there's no real consistency because everybody has their own personal ideal of what's right, what's natural, what's not, what's... Um, <laughs> Weird, what's not, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but, but here's the issue, though. Can you hear me? Yeah. Here's the issue. The issue is everybody has their own definition of dating. And you have people out here that'll be talking to five people at one time. That's true. You sending out five good morning beautiful texts to five different women. I agree. Because, uh, you know what? I've met women who say, I'm I'm single. I'm single until I commit. So therefore, as long as I'm single, I can entertain a number of people. But because that's I'm not in the commitment. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm different. Once I'm if I'm talking to you, I draw you to the person I'm talking to. You see what I'm saying? If I'm talking to you, I'm only talking and entertaining you. My brother said talking to a person of interest does not re require loyalty. See that, but that, that's okay. See, his perspective is what I was saying. So now, it doesn't require loyalty. However, when a one is say, "I'm serious about getting to know you," it's very, it's, it's really, I ain't gonna say impossible, but I want to because people are gonna challenge that. But I want to say it's gonna be very difficult for you right. to be able to focus on a person, really feel their energy, and you give them their energy when. You are sharing energy with other individuals, especially when you're having sex with other people while you're saying you're trying to see if this person is somebody you really want to, you know, kick it with. It's very difficult to do that. Um, I mean, I, I've done it all. So, I'm telling you, I mean, I know, I know it's different from my own personal experience. I'm sure people are going to say, well, I disagree. But the, I, 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 would, I, would, I would then say the proof would be in the results. Right. So if a person said they disagree, okay, well, in your disagreement, how successful have that have that option been for you? 
I I know for myself, I use I've met women, and I remember there was a time where I used to always ask them. They'll tell me they single. And today you have to be real specific about your question. I would say, uh, you say you single. I say then, what are you like having sex with somebody else? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you. Is, is there somebody that you consistently having sex with? You know, right now, and, and some women would be like, "Well, I don't feel like that's your business." You know, hey, well, I'm saying that it's my business because if you are, I'm I want to opt out. But <laughs> because I already know Yo, I that you. if you are having sex with somebody else, it's gonna be difficult for me and you to really truly get to know each other. But here's the thing about that, right? Here's the thing about that. The man can ask all those questions, but the minute the woman asks all them questions, they quit the lot. But when we say like a man, we really gotta be very careful because we talking about we got males, we got grown <laughs> males. Break it down. Break and we it got down. men, just Break like we got grown females, and we got a woman. And Break so, it down. um, it, it, it's very, it's very necessary to be able to identify the differences because without identifying, we then make a mistake and kind of harm the whole group, in a sense. By by by, in our thinking, because when we say certain things, we we put that in the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind can't. Di differentiate between who you were talking about. You said right. this. Okay. So, so, so now, see, see, she agreed with me. Listen, it's the truth. They will sit there and tell you, no, I'm not dealing with nobody. But then if they go upload a picture at a restaurant, you see two plates at the table. You, know, you see little stuff and right. you don't approach them about it. No, I'm single. Right, 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 right. And, and, and you know, I mean, some, some people, some people, some people, that's what they, that's their model of getting to know people that's their model and and the thing is we save ourselves a lot of personal energy and time mm -hmm. when we say we don't even battle with it. we don't try to rationalize you know all, none of that way we don't even really try to get too deep into an understanding of a person's logic and this that and other if a person is doing something that doesn't resonate with you Mm -hmm. I'm sweat it is. I I used to be one to say, I mean, you you have to tell a person sometimes, you know. I, I mean, I'm quick to baby. Why you do? I don't like that. Don't do this. Do it. You know. But I feel like that can be only kind of somewhat necessary when you're dealing with somebody that you don't plan on walking away from, or that you're always going to deal with in some kind of fun way or fashion. If they're in your world, then yeah, you can tell them that. Look, don't do this in my house. Don't do that in my house. Don't do so and so. Don't do me like that. Don't handle me like this. Don't talk to me a certain way. And really, only so long. Do you really logically keep doing that until you need to make a decision to say, okay, for my peace of mind, because it really seems like you didn't get it. And at the same time, I want you to continue being you. Enjoy being you. Live your life because you got to evolve on your own time. Right. But the thing that gets me is they'll do, and I've had multiple men do this. They will do all this leading on and then tell you, if you get hurt, it ain't nobody's fault but yours. Well, okay. Now, just from the outside looking in, I'm going to say this here. To a certain degree, that's true. And the reason why I say it's true is because it's really our responsibility to be able to investigate something properly. Break it down because, for me because... Well, because you remember I tell you, it first starts with me. Mm-hmm. So let's just say I keep attracting a certain type of female and I keep being attracted to this type of female. Okay. And I keep getting the same similar results for the most part. My, me and business. my brother has had this conversation. So, and, and, okay. and as a result of this, I then say, man, I'm tired of dating. I'm tired of these females, man. They ain't about shit. They this, this, that, and other, right? Let's say I say that. Mm -hmm. You see, that's not, I'm not really looking at that from a, I would say a, a responsible position. I'm not looking, I'm not, I'm not really being, I would say really like intelligent as well as responsible with that because it's people are going to be who they are. And the thing is that I'm not, it's not, I, I don't have a right to judge a person where they are because I don't know what you've been through mm -hmm. and how you are dealing with your experiences. Right. And so however you're dealing with your experiences, trying to figure it out, I mean, that's on you and your own time. Now, if I choose 
to inject myself into your experience, I definitely have made a choice because whether I choose to believe you or not, mm -hmm. it's my choice. And the thing is that when we choose to believe somebody, they can say, I'm going to do this, this, that, and other. And, you, and, I did, and then I say, so as a result of you saying you're going to do this, and I say you go, and you say you're going to do this at a certain time, you give me the right to expect certain things, right? And that person say, yeah, you can expect that. But here, here's the thing. And let's just say that they don't fulfill it, right? I can say something about them as a result mm -hmm. of them fulfilling it, which may be true. However, the other piece of it is that I have to look at my criteria that I use to determine that I can trust this person with. Because it's like, okay, I say I, 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 the person told me X, Y, and Z, and I chose to believe the person because they did say that. But did I really have a logical right to, to, to believe that person? What did they do to, to, to confirm that their words is that solid? Right. What about their life? What about their, their, you know, their reputation? What about whatever? And, and, and especially if I ain't known them long enough. Right, right. I just like to say this here. Before we get a certain position at a job, most of the time, we have to prove that we can handle the position we at good. Right. Now, a certain level of trust has to be given, right? Mm -hmm. But that certain level of trust that is given has to be a has to be to the to the amount of that. What when they if they misuse it, it don't. It's not something that that, that that's going to crush you. It's not something that is going to break you. It's not something that. You know, it's just kind of like if I go to the casino, I'm not going to go to the casinos with my rent money, my light bill money, my car, my car Some note money. My right. But I'm saying like logically an intelligent person, if you're going, if I say, okay, I'm going to go gamble because anytime we indulge in anything, mm -hmm. we don't know the result. We, we, we can, we can do X, Y, and Z and hope that it brings back a certain result. However, it's still a slight gamble. Right. Right. So, when I step into something that I've never stepped in before, and I just say, okay, let me, I need to see if this worth my investment, right? So I want to invest in it, but I'm not sure about it. Mm -hmm. So the wise thing to do would be to only invest what mm -hmm. I can lose. Oh, that's a good one. Only invest enough of what I can, you know, if you mess this off, Oh man, that was good. Cause see, I, I always tell the people like, if me telling you the truth about how I don't like how you disrespect or you talk or you do certain things cause you to never want to talk to me again or, or 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 bring out a certain characteristic in you, to me that was uh, worth the investment. My me telling you the truth when I told you was worth the investment of me finding out later down the line who you are, and I gave you way much more for you to take. Mm. I mean, I hope you understand what I'm saying. So it's like, when we go I'm into... I'm going to start using that. When are we go into the... <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you really have to look at it like that because it's like, okay, so that was a time when I, I didn't trust no women. I had added up A, B, C, and D and said, fuck it, they ain't trustworthy. Right. <laughs> so now I start. I had stopped trusting women for a long time. All we were talking about, I said about twenty five, and so, um, and the thing was that when I said I didn't trust them, I didn't give them my opportunity to prove nothing mm. of too much. Okay. All they had to do sometimes I asked them to do certain things and whatever, any kind of fight back, kick back. I like cut off like a light switch. I wouldn't right. know what to do now. You can do what you want to do, this, that, and that. So now, but when I went, when I got like some years down the line, I used to look back and say, you know what? I kind of might have messed off. Now, old girl, she really was an all right chick. I just didn't give her a chance. Mm. You know, which which I understood later down the line, right? And so one time a dude who was some years younger than me told me, he said, I had went through a traumatic event in my life, and I was telling him, I said, man, a lot of people that I had really thought we was on a certain level, and I found out when I found myself in a predicament that they wasn't there for me, it really crushed me, right? Mm -hmm. He said, man, you know what the problem was? You gave them your trust. Mm -hmm. Right? And he said, trust ain't something that you give. It's something that people got to earn from you. Yeah. Okay, right. so it resonated with me, right? But right. here's the thing about, about that. You can't, not, you can't walk into a situation not trusting people at all. 
Mm. It's like, you got to earn my trust. I'm not even giving you nothing to, to, to earn it with. Right, right, right. So you have to give people a general amount of leverage and see what they do with it. Right? Mm -hmm. And so what I started doing, though, was trusting people with the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. If you say something, I look for you to carry it out. I don't they care how minimal. How minimal you think it is. But they can't even do that. But I'm those are, going on in Texas, but up in New Jersey, these men don't even do the bare minimum. Right. But here's yeah, my point. Man. But here's my that's but that's my point. When you see that, don't let it frustrate you, get you upset, none of that. Because again, everybody's in development. Nobody's better than the other. I mean, we all evolving on different time frames and levels. All you can do is pray for that person and 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 appreciate them or love them or like them from a distance or whatever. But the thing mm -hmm. is that you then see that, well, because of because you didn't get my quarterback when you walked in the store and said she was going to give it back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I gave you a dollar and then you told me you're going to give it back tomorrow, but you said nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Right? That's small stuff in, 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 you know, in, in money wise, but it's big in principle. Right. Because if I, if you, if you, if you show me that not only did you not give it back, but you didn't even feel that it was necessary to say nothing to me about it. Right. Right. Not knowing how important that was to me because that was a test for you. Mm -hmm. Because now that I gave you a dollar, that was a small amount. That was a small loss to know that I could never give him a hundred dollars. So let me ask you something else, <clears throat> right? Because I'm, I'm semi very old fashioned. Like I, I, I think part of me was born before my time. I cannot. I don't care how long we were talking. Give you my physical just because you asked for it. Right. I just can't. But somehow along the lines of dating or whatever situationships, it has been, the signal has been put out as, oh, it's okay for me to ask to sleep with you. And there's no title on this, Wayne, no relationship. Ain't no ring on your finger. But it's okay for me to ask you that. Why is that? I mean, we live in a very sexualized society now. That, that's the main piece. So everybody has been geared to be so sexual. Because sex, sex is being promoted on TV, on games, on commercials, on, on everything. But that's why so, there's no relationships anymore. And they're just situationships. Not right. But hear, hear, hear what I'm saying. Because sex is a primal thing. It's an animalistic thing. It's a non-thinking thing. That's the part of us that we can become addicted with. When something is physical, you can become easily addicted to things that are physically pleasing. Whether it be food, uh, entertainment, what, all sorts of things, right, that affect us on a biological level. So, sex being something that's been promoted, promoted, and promoted. Some people, that has been their introduction into relationships and love. Because black men and women, specifically, right, talking about black people, black men and women, a lot of us have been subjected to sexual assault at a very young age. So, right, but and the thing about it, when it happened to men, it's not necessarily frowned on as much. Even and they don't talk about it. Right. And so a lot of us men, when an older woman have sex with us, we look at it like, oh, it likes it's something to promote and it's something to be proud of. It's something, you know, and, and, and uh, the thing is, is that when you have a young developed mind, you don't know where to place that and how to place it and what, you know, was it right or wrong? You know what I'm saying? You don't even know how to stand when you don't have no one to properly help you navigate through that experience and, and feel it. Then what ends up happening is that you find a way to cope with it. And what happens is you put it in a place that feels you. So what feels you is to say, oh, okay, well, I'm, I'm, I must be this, that, and other to have an older woman want to have sex with me. Right? And so then the thing, like specifically with black males, black males, I think when it comes to men, I think black males have it harder than a lot of other races. And the reason why I say that is because black men, 
or held to a standard that I, I think other men are not held to. And, and one of those standards is that, I mean, black men can't drive a certain kind of car and it still be masculine. Black men can't stay with his family, his mom, and still be masculine. Black men can't, uh, um, I mean, be too, too, too emotional. He can't really like show too many emotions, especially as a younger person, and still be considered masculine. He really can't even be too affectionate with a woman to show how much he love and like her without being called a simp or he he, he lame or this, that, and other, like that, that little brother, his female that they've been blowing up all over the media. So black men is kind of, and I'm saying this is not just by men, this is about men and women. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to the, it reaches a point to where we have this atmosphere of where everybody want to be emotionless. Everybody want to feel like they don't care. Because not That's caring true. is to be her strength. So this is where you get all the disrespect and the disconnection at. While at the same time, everybody is emotional as hell. Right? They're not mentally uh, navigate through experiences. Mm. So you have this sexual introduction along with all those things that I just mentioned and with the other real serious issue of the father not being there to really raise him and cultivate him right. for whatever reason, right? And it's really necessary, especially like with boys, it's very necessary that he has I would say more so his father, but a man definitely that he care about and love raising him up because it's just that training, that training shapes him a certain kind of way. Right. You know, but again, that even, even the most productive and, and prestigious of men still are, are, are over-sexualized. And, and, and we just live in a very sexualized society and time. It's just terrible. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I can't. I can't tell you the last time I've been on a date. I, I, I really can't. I... This is what I, I. This is one of the things I believe that we all have to really give real serious and deep thought to when it comes to our experiences with the opposite sex mm-hmm. or, or dating period, right? Um, or looking for that mate. Put that question I, in my DM, though. Okay. When I say looking for that mate, is that. I believe that if we just spend more time on just healing and right. striving to be the best person that I can be. Right. And when I say best, we have to find a standard of what that best is going to be measured by. Right. So let's just say for those of us who believe in God and, 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 and his rule and, and, and instructions, right? Okay, so I would then lean towards what that standard for him would look like. Yes. You know, what would be that best individual that he would consider to be the best man or the best woman? And then as I strive in that way to be the best human being that I can be in reflection of what I believe God's love looks like. Mm-hmm. Right? If I strive in that and just really focus on that, which is difficult, but really focus on that, the more that I focus on that and the more that I evolve in that, the easier it becomes to not only identify what's naturally not for you, but you will also lose a certain attraction for certain types and certain men and women won't even approach you because they don't see a familiarity in you. See, That's we, we, what we always say. He up here. He always, yo, we had this conversation all the time. And he always says that. Always. Bro, yeah, I, mean, so I know you will here. Yeah, because we approach what we are familiar with, what we're comfortable with. I remember mm-hmm. when I was a younger male, um, specifically in middle school, I remember as a young male, when we seen a certain woman, a certain you know, what seemed to be a certain description of a woman, right? We would literally say, oh, that's a woman right there. <laughs> you ain't gonna say that to her. You know what I'm saying? We knew she wasn't a girl on our level. Right. Right, but that 
thought, that thought still resonates in us. We meet men and women see those who we feel are beyond where we are and not. I, I've had I've had women tell me, I like you, but I think that um I'm not where you are and I just don't think we'll really connect. Yo, I've been told that twice in the past three weeks. They right. aren't on my level. I was like, what? All you can do is take that and appreciate that, you know, that person knows themselves well enough to say, you know, I know I'm, I'm, I'm when it could, when probably where you at, when I, where I think you are, I'm probably on some bullshit. You know, I mean, I've had a woman tell me, uh, I ain't Thanks shit. for that translation. <laughs> I've had a woman tell me I ain't shit. I know like, what you mean. <laughs> See, I'm just, I ain't shit. <laughs> so, I mean, but. I, just, I, I honestly believe because I, I said this, I said it to myself the other day. I said, "Wow, it's so it's so easy, right? And it's so comfortable to to dwell in, 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 in an environment that we are familiar with and surround ourselves with people that we are familiar with and have known the type of individual all our lives. While it's so easy to do that, we often try to find a mate." in that environment but not like them mm. and we're not going to do that mm. here's our thinking we think like this here most of the time we say i know i'm not the only one like this in this environment i know there's one other person at least that's 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 like on my mental level and, and so on and so forth that's in this environment who are not necessarily a reflection of the environment, but is from this environment or whatever the case may be. And it's like, why, why can't I find that person? Mm. Then we may identify a group of, 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 of males or females, right? And say, you know, I believe that a person like that I would really connect with is really in that environment. But mm. I'm where I need to be where I feel that I would be a good compatibility for that person in that environment. We also say that. Let's, let's talk compatibility. Okay, so, oh, last question of the night, because I know you got to go. And I ask this on every one of the lives, um, only because I am a survivor of sexual assault. And I had somebody tell me that they would not deal with a woman who has been sexually assaulted because they can't handle what they will be put through. Now, let me explain. Sometimes in any sort of real, real relationship, right? During sexual activity, we may have a flashback. Something may be triggered. And we remember what happened when we were assaulted. So we shut down physically. The young man clearly said he would never deal with a woman that has been sexually assaulted because he can't deal with that shutdown of not having sex for the amount of time that we shut down for, which would be anywhere from days to years. Right. Question to you. How do you feel and what do you think that you will be able to date or marry a woman who has been sexually assaulted? I mean, I, I, I believe I could, but because I believe that there are more women that have been sexually assaulted than we know sometimes. Not every woman that's been sexually assaulted um, still exhibits maybe the symbol of characteristics and signs, right? Right. Some women can tell you that, and they may exhibit the traumas differently. They may be more open to sex, more 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 freaky or something to sex, right? Um, but what I will say is that I, I have dated a woman who who would do that, who would lock up, tighten up, and shut down, and this, that, and other, and. Um, uh, honestly, because she didn't tell me that was what was going on, it used to frustrate me. Mm. And, and I told her, I say, man, look, I, 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 don't, I, I don't do this because you make me feel like I'm taking something. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So it was only after I walked away that she finally started trying to explain. Now, that's very necessary to explain. Again, that's very necessary to explain. Now, let's just say this here. I do believe that if a if a I'm just, if a man say he can't he can't he, he not he can't deal with it whether we want to use he's not strong enough whether he's not patient enough whether he's not understanding enough mm. you know what I'm saying? 
that he can't deal with it for one, either one of those reasons, then I don't think it's a negative on him. I think that if he's able to admit that, then it's a plus because it also gives her the option of, or better yet, it, it lets her know that, okay, I get it. And, you know, we can stop right now. And uh, it also, I, I think that it should encourage her more to seek healing. But at the same time, um, it's good that he didn't try to act like deal with something that he couldn't and do other things in silence to try to make up for the defense. You know, because sometimes, I know like even, again, for myself and experience, I've hurt more people trying not to hurt them. Because in my, in, my, in my honest position, I would say, you don't deserve to be hurt. And I don't know how to tell you whatever it is that has caused the disconnection because I know you're not going to take it well. And right. And sometimes I would take the position that I would want, I just would start distancing myself and look for you to stop it. You mm -hmm. to walk away so that I don't be the villain. Ooh. In that sense. But what end up happening most of the time is some other form of truth or whatever reveal itself. And now it makes me even double villain. Right. But, you know, like, like another thing I like to add with that, what I say is that if I, if I, if it was something about me and a woman that I don't connect with, women have asked me like, well, what is it that, that you don't, that you don't connect with? I never, I don't tell them. Mm -hmm. I just say, man, we just not, we just don't have, we just not, we just don't harmonize like that. Right. And the reason why I don't tell them is because I, I feel like some people can't handle that. And some people are look at that naturally as a negative. If I say X, Y, and Z is the reason why it don't work for me, then that person might, may have heard that a number of times and be like, or they might even have a, uh, be, be self-conscious uh, about that particular thing. And so then it becomes even more of an issue for that person because of what I've said. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. My thing is never to tell nobody down because what not what may not work for me might work well for the next man. So I don't yeah. never want to ship a person in that sense like that. Now let's just say of a person I consider the person to be inconsiderate, and I can and I can literally show this how why. Then that's something I, a, a person can fix. That has nothing to do with your physical characteristics. Is that another? This is how you, you think. So I want to try to affect the way you think. Now, I will tell a person that. You know, well, I, mean, I think that's inconsiderate stuff you did. Why? Well, because you didn't consider this, this, that, and other. Mm -hmm. So whenever you commit an act of inconsideration, then that's an inconsiderate thing. I'm not saying you're inconsiderate in, to in totality. But in this particular area right here, you are consistent with being inconsiderate, though. Consistent. <laughs> He do the consistent in there. Like, I mean, because that's, a, that's the only way it'll real. That's the only way it'll be a real problem. A person just being considered one time or every random thing. That's not nothing. That I don't think to, to raise no hell he about. Said you consistently inconsiderate. Okay, I'm tired of people doing situationships and and then they, and then the situation should happen and then a baby get involved and then now everybody got problems. Oh, really? It's real, real. Right? Like, and, and you know, and, and you know, that in, in closing, you know, that's that's one of the things too that is very. Too, it's, it's too common is that a lot of times people don't truly connect but they connect well sexually so they continue the sexual episodes while everything else is dysfunction, dysfunctional I need you to stop talking because we're going to we, we'll be, we'll be here to 10 o'clock okay? <laughs> alright <laughs>